Now that we've learned about Boolean values, true and false, we now know how to make comparison statements to check for certain conditions in our code. But there is one other thing I want to mention, and that is another keyword in Ruby that does translate to false in comparison statements, and that is nil, N-I-L, all under case. Now, what nil means is the absence of anything. So it's the absence of any object, of any variable. Well, in Ruby, as many people say, anything is an object. Everything is an object, so it's the absence of any object, to be very clear. Now, what that means is that we simply don't have any object or anything assigned to this variable. So I could assign a equal to nil, and I could say if a, you know, uh, puts hello, so print out hello, and then put my end statement. And if I do that and run this program, I get nothing. It just finishes. Now, instead of putting, say, a number here, for instance, if two, that gets evaluated the true. The reason because that gets evalu evaluated the true is the way numbers work is that any number will get evaluated to true. Anything that's not nil will get evaluated to true. So if you have an object or, for instance, a string, that will get evaluated to true. It will give you a warning, but you will still get a valid program of true. It just says, hey, there's an object here, there's a string, evaluate the true. Anything but nil, which means the absence of any object, will not yield true for this if block. So there are two ways to yield a false value, either the actual Boolean value of false or nil. And there's nothing else you can substitute for true, but either a valid object, which is anything that's not nil, or the Boolean variable true. So if I do it's nil or true and run it, I will get hello because true is true. <laughs> true or nil makes the conditional statement evaluate to truthy, true, and it executes. Another quick tip, you can always put things in parentheses if you're not sure, sure how they will execute due to operator precedence. You can make your certain operations always execute before others by putting them in parentheses. For instance, if I wanted to do if nil or true, I could make sure that executes before my and statement here because I could do and false. And by doing this, I will make sure my statement always executes to false because I'm saying, okay, execute the or statement first with these parentheses and then the result of that and it with false. So true and false is false. Hey guys, I just started a new course on Thinkific that I have created that takes you through all the basics of Ruby programming. If you want to check it out, I have the link in description. It's completely free and you can ask questions on it and I will respond and I will be updating it as much as possible and also be adding Ruby on Rails. Thank you guys. Please check it out.